great to be back at Torchwood Central. A few baps. We're in Penarth now, we're going to make our way up the hill and head for Penarth Station because TFW have once again brought out a new class of train. I've made it to Penarth Station where I'm about to have a ride on one of TFW's new Class 231 Flirt trains where I'm going to be taking a ride here from Penarth to Bargoyd. I'm waiting for the 10.48 service to Barcoid, but it is a little bit delayed. It's only coming into Penarth at 10.55. And the 231s did enter service down the valley lines in January 2023. But looking at the boards, it's interesting because some of the services go all the way to Rimney, then some of them terminate at Barcoid, and some of them only go to Estrad Minac. All right, it's time to get flirting with 231.005. Well, I've only just stepped on board and I already love the look of these trains. They look super lush from the outside, but the inside as well. Whoa, there are four coaches on the 231s and in the middle of the four coaches, there's a power pack, which is where the diesel generators are. Welcome on board Transport for Wayne. Please remain seated until the we've just departed Penarth and already we're at Dingle Road. I feel like it may be a little difficult to vlog on here because the announcements are quite Welcome long and slow board. and they do them in Welsh and then obviously in English afterwards. I am travelling today on a Penarth to Bargoyd anytime day return and it was only £5.45. It is cheap to travel around South Wales. There are a mix of airline style seats and table seats. We're sitting on a table seat that's a little bit higher up because we're above the wheels. At this seat there are armrests, knicker hooks, and between the seats there is a power socket and a USB port. And the airline style seats are fitted with a table tray. You can connect to Transport for Wales Wi-Fi on these units, which I just did with no problems at all. And I have noticed when walking through the carriage that the windows are perfectly aligned to the seats. Behind that double up 175, I just caught a very quick glimpse of 105, 109. It was just pulled in at Cardiff Central. <laughs> Throughout the train we've got overhead luggage space, we've got passenger information displays that tells you all the stops and the times which we're going to call at the stops. There is an accessibility area and a space for your bikes. realise you know on the 197s they have the TFW logo on the headrest of the seats. On these seats it's just a headrest, there's no logo on it. What do you think of these floats? Fantastic. Aren't you beautiful? Okay, so I was just looking at the screen then and it said service to Kerfilly, which I was like really confused about, but there has been a points failure. So yeah, the service is now terminating at Kerfilly, so looks like we're going there instead. Well, I've a wee now whilst my journey's been shortened. Got a lovely spacious toilet here. Got a toilet, a mirror, sink, toilet paper. Instead of like sheets of toilet paper that you usually find on train toilets, there is actually a roll of toilet paper. It's really difficult to get hold of. I say that as I get hold of it. 
so obviously at the minute these diesel electric trains are only running down the Rimney line however it is planned in the future they'll also be running between Maesteg and Cheltenham Spa and Cardiff Central and Ebu Vale Town So we are just pulling into our final stop of Caerphilly now, which is a shame because I want to ride this for longer, we've only been on for about half an hour. Squishy babies! Very impressively the two free ones do have complete level borders. Just spending a bit of time admiring the exterior of this train because it's pulled up a Caerphilly for quite some time now but looks like we're gonna go have a little walk out see what's around well I'll tell you what Caerphilly's a lot more of an outdoorsy kind of quiet station than I thought it would be. I would have expected it to be a lot busier here because it is one of those places everyone's kind of heard of, isn't it? How are we gonna navigate our way around here? Carefully. Very helpfully, there's a map of the area right outside of the station and immediately taking my fancy is what's that number one, Caerphilly Castle. Well, we found the castle which is surrounded by a beautiful lake and there does appear to be a bit of filming going on around the castle, I'm not too sure what the filming is. Well, that ride down the Rimney Line went melons up, didn't it? But um, for the short journey we had, it was absolutely wonderful to finally be able to ride on the 231 flirts and I'm sure at some point in the future I'll be back down here again trying out the tri-mode 756 flirts which TFW are also going to be having. It feels like it's been a year of just new TFW trains and the 231s were the reason that we actually came down to Cardiff in the first place. We're going to probably just chill here at Caerphilly Castle for a little while longer with these geese here but yeah we've absolutely loved every minute of our night here. Thank you very much for watching everyone. Bye-bye!